footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our any given Saturday game of the week preview between the Appalachian State Mountaineers and the Montana Grizzlies. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams starting with Appalachian State. When you have great quarterback play, you're going to always have a chance. And the Mountaineers have that in quarterback Jamal Jackson, an outstanding passer. Completed over 66% of his passes last year, 20-plus touchdowns, minimal interceptions. Does a great job of making the right decision at the right time. Now, three guys you want to keep an eye on will be running back Ricky Ferguson. He's a sophomore. Inside linebacker John Lau, who's a freshman starting in the middle. And free safety Alex Gray, another freshman starting on the back end. And they have to do a better job this year on third down as well as in the red zone if they want to have some success in 2013. Now let's move over to Montana in this ball game. Was last year's defensive struggles the anomaly or real concern? I think by sheer trial by fire, they'll improve. And keep an eye on linebacker Jordan Tripp as he's one of the best linebackers in the FCS. And quarterback Jordan Johnson's progression is paramount this year to team success as he's breaking in some newbies at wide receiver. The X Factor in this ballgame for App State will be the other wide receiving targets, Andrew Peacock and Tony Washington. They're going to have to step up in a huge way as Sean Price is suspended for the first couple of games. He's a big-time target. Can these guys step up and fill the void? They're very talented, but they're going to have their hands full this week versus Montana. The X Factor for the Grizzlies will be their secondary. What App State does so well, they spread you out and they attack the individual matchups. They put a lot of pressure on your cornerback depth, so your slot corners will get tested. Your safeties will have to cover man to man. So you have to be ready to play versus App State's passing attack. Otherwise, you can get blitzed in this ballgame. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this matchup starting with Appalachian State. They have to establish a running game early. You want to make it a balanced attack versus the Grizzlies, especially on the road. And they have various defensive pressures that they can apply versus this Grizzlies offense. They run a 3-4 defense, and we know why the 3-4 defense gives you problems. It screws up your blocking assignments. You don't know where that fourth or fifth guy is coming from. And the App State's defensive line versus the Grizz's talented offensive front. They're going to have to do a great job in owning the line of scrimmage. Now, for Montana in this ballgame, the intermediate pass defense will be crucial. Like I said before, App State spreads you out and tries to take advantage of the individual matchups. So your linebackers, as well as your slot corners, will have to have their A game this week. And keep your eyes on your luggage. Don't get caught peeking in the backfield if you're a deep safety. Otherwise, big plays can happen deep down the field. And consistency is the key with regards to your execution. You know what you do well. You just have to execute properly in order to have some success versus a very good team in the Mountaineers. Now here are some 2014 draft prospects you want to watch out for in this ballgame. Jamal Jackson, outstanding quarterback. We talked about him earlier. Sean Price won't play in this game, but keep an eye on him throughout the course of the season. Richard, sophomore, so he's eligible. And defensive end Ronald Blair in that 3-4 defense plays the five technique, does a great job applying pressure. For Montana, Jordan Tripp, like I said before, one of the best linebackers in the FCS, does a great job on both ends of defense, stopping the run, as well as back there in pass coverage. And Danny Kistler, the tackle, 6'8", 325 pounds, outstanding booking that protects the blind side of Jordan Johnson. He stood only 5'11", 190 pounds, but Dave Dickinson is one of the best players in FCS history. His career numbers are astonishing. Over 13,000 yards passing, 116 touchdowns to only 26 interceptions, and completed 68% of his passes for his career. In 1995, he had his best season for the Montana Grizzlies, leading them to a national championship while throwing for over 5,600 yards, and was also the Walter Payton Award winner, which is the FCS equivalent to the Heisman Trophy. Defensive end Josh Jeffries was a guy that lived in the backfield throughout the course of his career for Appalachian State. This was a guy that was a SoCon Defensive Player of the Year in 2002 and a two-time finalist for the Buckus Award and finished his Mountaineer career with 33 and a half sacks, which is still a school record. I like Montana in this ballgame. I like what I see from their offense moving forward. The offensive line is outstanding. Jordan Johnson will do a great job in his second season as a starter. And defensively, I think last year was the anomaly. They're going to play a lot better, and they're very good in the front seven. And App State will be able to move the football a little bit versus Montana, but I worry about their defense being young and inexperienced, and that could be a problem out there in Missoula. 